This is what happens when you drop your AirPod cases from drones and then hit it with a knife. Do not do this. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln and this is the end. And today we're gonna cut open some Apple AirPods. You guys have been asking for this since these guys came out. They were a little bit hard to come across. And so once we finally got them, we decided we need to go big. We're not gonna just sit in our house and cut these things open. We wanted to go extreme. We wanted to get a little bit dangerous. So we came to one of the most dangerous places on the world, on Earth. That's right, we are at Kualoa Nature Preserve in Hawaii, on Oahu. This is a working ranch and nature preserve, but it's also a place where tourists love to come. We're gonna attach some phones to the drones, fly them up in the air, and drop them. Get ready. Check out these scratch marks. They're this is from the scary. movie. Looks like major concrete scratches. Nope, it's styrofoam. Styrofoam. Still looks it's, super it's rad. Squishy. So that's why we say this is the most dangerous place in the world because this is where the dinosaurs were. This was the cage. Chris Pratt was in here and I think he got stuck in here or he had to run out or something. These are the Apple AirPods. Lincoln has never held them or seen them until this moment. Here you go, buddy. See, does that fit? Does it feel oh, yeah. weird? No. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't put them that end in. Okay, so that's how they, they should like... look. Here's the game plan. See the drone over here? We have a drone. And then over here, we've got another drone and we've got somebody that's gonna help us fly it. Hey guys. <laughs> Devin Supertramp, Devin Graham, you guys have probably seen his videos. He did a video a few weeks ago that was awesome from here that was in 4K and it was flying around and I thought that's the place where we need to drop the AirPods and have them take air. So what do you think about this, Devin? How's this gonna work? We're gonna fly this up in the air and then we're gonna go fast, kind of tip it, and then they're gonna fall, hit the ground, and then we're gonna see what happens. Do you think they'll break? No. I think, Not with the I think the case is gonna break. This ground is hard. We're gonna drop it on the rocks. Very small chance of survival. Well, there's a fail. All right, new plan. Zach, what do we got here? The AirPods are now taped to a necklace that we bought at a gift store. That is very professional. This necklace is holding the AirPods and it will just slide right off when I turn the drone, when I lean it in a certain direction. Devin has his drone flying right side by side of it. Look at this, look how cool that is. The scenery. Oh. <laughs> Devin's great at filming stuff. 161 feet in the air. Five, four, three, two, one. Waste your Oh! Okay. It's still is shut. It's shut. It's still shut. Are they in it? Open it up. Both in it. They're both in it. Just fine. Completely fine. We need to go higher. <laughs> We've got them right here. There's some orange bird poop on it. There's no way we got that shot. It is trickier than I thought it was going to be. We've dropped it three times and haven't had the greatest of success so far. Not only are we gonna drop AirPods, but we wanted to test out some iPhones. Rhino Shield reached out to us. We're like, hey, we'll sponsor a video if you'll test out our cases. So we're gonna test it out. So we have the matte black phone right here. Brand new phone. We just picked this up last night at the Apple store here. It's just a little bumper. It's just a little bumper. Just pop it on like that. It's supposed to protect your phone up to a 13 to 15 foot drop. They even gave us cases with our What's Inside logo on it. Look in the description and we're gonna do a giveaway and give away the phones that do survive and also these cases. Hola. We have the necklace on it with a piece of tape looking fresh and clean. Okay, this is 15 feet in the air right now. This is what they say, your phone, if you drop it on concrete, it's gonna survive. Oh, that did not sound good. That did not sound good. Lincoln, pick it up. Check it out, no, see if it works. It's so cold. It doesn't have any scratches and completely awesome. Really? Wipe yeah. It, let's wipe it off. It's fine. All right, phone. The bumper guard right there looks like we hit a rock and it has a little scratch, but totally fine. Phone still works. Completely 
It's good condition. That's impressive. Now let's take it up even higher. Oh, it's falling! It's falling! Look out for the cars! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, this is crazy. The phone is fine. The only thing that got damaged is the camera lens. A rock must have hit it perfectly. We looked it up on the drone. That drop was 180 feet. We lost the camera. But let's see what happens when we take off the bumper guard and give it a drop. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> this is a phone with no case. 185 feet. It's coming. Oh, I hit the bar. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, the whole bottom cracked open! No. You've seen Zach's bend test that he does on iPhones. This thing is pretty jacked up. Looks like the screen has popped out a little bit. Ooh, even the back case, that's pure bent metal right there. That's How is it that the screen survived and the metal is torn on the back? I have no idea. The bumper case, it did what it promised, but I wouldn't take it up to 100 and 200 feet like we did. You'll have some dents and you'll have some marks on it. Jurassic World and Jurassic Park was awesome at Kualoa Park. I was impressed that they survived the drop test. We're gonna really cut open these AirPods and just see what's inside of them once and for all. We have a few tools. This one is my favorite. Check it out. <laughs> Look at that thing. I'm just going to give it a squeeze and see if it can pop open. You can see the glue coming off right there. This thing does not have screws that are holding it in. It is just the glue. Oh yeah, how's that for a clean opening? We are in on the headphone part, Lincoln. It looks really small. So you saw earlier who was helping us with the drone. We got Zach. What are we looking at? So the ear pods are waterproof and sweat proof. Part of that is this part right here is rubber. So in a lot of speakers, especially like older speakers, they're like paper. And paper and water don't go well together, obviously. So if you're sweating inside of your ear and this is paper, the speaker's just gonna disintegrate. And then right here, all a speaker is, is copper and a magnet. So the magnet makes the copper shake back and forth and that kind of like transmits the sound. So if you just extend those pliers, just hold them out, it's gonna oh. stick all by itself right here. So we need to get down into this battery case. We have this knife. We've already got the top part off. I wonder if we can just hit this guy. Oh boy. That's a very clean cut right there. Doesn't get much cleaner. Nice. <laughs> Is that the whole, ow! Oh! I got the battery. It's hot. Pretty much all you have in this part is the battery and the antenna. I would imagine that Apple would have wanted it to be a little bit smaller so you wouldn't look so dorky when you're wearing them, but you have to think they need to have a battery long enough so that people don't complain and say, this thing only lasts for 30 minutes. I mean, when I'm at the gym, I work out for hours, and so. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> when you put the AirPods in, it does pull it down and it locks into place. So, there's definitely maggots in, <laughs> maggots, there's maggots in there. Maggots. Maggots I in your actually, AirPods. Yes, I've had stories with maggots. <laughs> at school, that my actual teacher taught me about maggots. I, nice, no, I'm serious. That's a nice story. Like that. I'm actually serious. Maggots. That's Hashtag what, that's, maggots. That's, Leave it in the comments. No. Like, I believe you. Yeah. I'm not doubting your story at all. I think your maggots, magnet story is true, true story. Yes. Back to the AirPods. <laughs> so when you take these AirPods and you put them in there, there, is, there are magnets in the bottom. Maggots. But, but there shouldn't be anything else inside of this. It should just be a battery and magnets. Because look, there's magnets in the top part of the case. That's the latch that gets it to open and shut right there. Oh. When we dropped it from really high up, that's a little cushioning in it so that it, it keeps the AirPods safe. No wonder it survived so well. Apple, darn you for making this too well built. I'm gonna have to use some brute force. And so I got this giant piece of coral from the ocean. Now we're gonna beat this thing up. <laughs> Look at that, here's our battery. I bet it's very hot. Oh, oh yeah. Check it out, you see it steaming right there? See the red mark? 
Look at that. This is what happens when you drop your AirPod cases from drones and then hit it with a knife. Do not do this. Look at that. Oh, when we came here today, I did not plan on sticking a knife repeatedly into a lithium ion battery. This is where you stick the lightning cord to actually charge it. And then look at all the chips down into there. So the magnet is not at the bottom, it's at the top in the earpiece part. It probably just connects with some of the metal that's in the earpiece. Zach has a channel where he fixes cell phones and technology. Is this salvageable? Uh, usually they aren't as bad as this one is. Also thanks to our friends Rhino Shield for sponsoring this video and hooking us up with these cases that we could do some drop tests with. So on Jerry Rig Everything on Zach's channel, he's gonna take these AirPods, compare them to the older headphones. There's all kinds of links. All you guys should be spending like and, the next hour on and YouTube. And Devin's. Devin Graham, go check out his channel. Let us know what else we should cut open and where we should travel to to do it because this was a lot of fun. It's beautiful here. If you want this, follow us on Twitter. We'll show you. I'm Dane and you're watching what's inside. <laughs> pretty, pretty accurate right there. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> This is my son Dan, thank you.